Today, the Catholic school at the center of that viral confrontation on Capitol Hill forced to close. Students now facing death threats, being smeared as racist over video of a clash with a Native American protester at the March for Life. All this before the full video was released, showing what really happened with left-wing activists who approached the teens first. Our next guest is pushing to set the record straight. Jill Hamlin attended the rally as a chaperone, watched it all happen. She joins us right now live from Cincinnati. Jill, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Jill, you say that your boys, the boys there, were targeted. Was it because they were wearing MAGA caps? I think that was one of the reasons they were targeted, and I think they were also targeted for what they stood for. Which is? Which is uh, Christianity, um, the right for life, and they were singled out, and I believe partially because of the color of their skin they were targeted. Jill, why, why was Nick Sandman, why, was, why did Nathan Phillips, the Native American, why did he choose him? Why did he get in his face? What happened before that? We were all just gathered on the steps. Uh, you know, we had obviously heard the horrific insults that were thrown at our children by the uh, black Hebrew Israelites mm -hmm. and the boys were gathered on the steps and they, I don't know why Nathan Phillips chose Nick Sandman. Um, I think he would have targeted anyone, but maybe it was because Nick Sandman had the courage to look this man in the face and he tried to defuse the situation by not reacting and by standing there respectfully. But you weren't there for any Native American support or protest. You were there for, for what reason? And why did all these other cross currents get in your way? We were there for the March for Life. It's an annual trip that the Covington Catholic High School, school goes to. And we meet every year at the Lincoln Memorial at the end of the day to catch our buses. We were not there for any other purpose other than to attend the peaceful March for right. Life, which we did. And the first people who hit you uh, with uh, verbal barbs were the black Hebrew Israelites. And what were they saying? Well, we were standing there and we looked and all of a sudden they turned their attention to our group and they were screaming horrible, horrible things that I will not repeat to our children, to children, not adults. They were screaming them at children. This continued and the boys asked if they could do one of their school cheers because they wanted to drown out the hatred that was being said to them. Right. And one of our teachers said it was okay for them to do their cheer. We wanted to drown out the hate, the hatred message that was being thrown at our children. Right. And so, you know, online, the initial uh, reaction was, look at these guys in the MAGA hats. They're yelling at uh, this uh, Native American, Nathan Phillips, who is banging the drum. That's not true. They were simply doing school cheers. You know, um, as a parent, I've got to wonder how you felt about in the initial hours after that went viral, uh, the, your uh, school and the Diocese of Covington put out a statement that said, of your boys, uh, action. They said this behavior is opposed to the church's teachings on the dignity and respect of the human person. The matter is being investigated and we will take appropriate action up to and including expulsion. Uh, why do you think the school and the diocese jumped the gun without knowing all the facts? Because that made it worse. It did. And I don't know why they jumped to make a statement. And as a parent, and as a Catholic person that has supported our diocese, I am very, very disheartened and saddened that they rushed to judgment by not supporting one of their own schools and their own people in the diocese. And I do not believe the school made that statement, the administration, I believe it was made by the diocese. Yeah, well, that, Jill, now that we know all the facts, you know, we're all parents. So many people watching are parents. I'm sure it was really difficult to, to know that you're there for the right of, of children that, that can't voice 
um, that don't have a voice and you're there for that march and you're growing Christian children and you're working really hard to pay for private education, paying your taxes, and then people come up to young kids and they shout these insults at them. That has to be so hard. And then to see how the media didn't tell the full story and then the diocese releases this statement. Is there, how do you, how do you get on for, how is it, how's Nick doing? How are all the other parents doing? The school had to be canceled today because all the parents there are so terribly worried that someone's going to show up and do something to one of their children. I mean, I understand as a mom, I wouldn't send my kid to school today either. How are you dealing with all of this? Well, it's, it's scary. My son works. Um, he, I've been nervous to have him even go to his job because I don't know who's out there and what they're doing. And my husband was going to follow my son to school this morning mm. because we just don't know what the volatility of the situation is with these people that react and they don't know the full story. And right. it's very scary. Well, and um, yeah, yeah so it's just, I go ahead. <laughs> Sorry about the satellite delay. Real quickly, uh, we've read some stories that perhaps the students are con and their families are considering legal action given all the wrong information online. Is that true? I have not spoken to anyone specifically about that or no one has, you know, told me anything okay. specifically. I've heard rumors of that, but I do not have any firsthand information about that. Jill, thanks so much for joining us here in this story and it, it's still real big. So we'll talk to you again soon. Maybe we can all learn a lesson from this. Thank you so much, Jill. Yes. God bless.